Dear Good, in this video I want to share with you a spelling and grammar tip for the past tense um, with a particular focus on the Irish verb cuddle, which is to sleep, cuddle. If we look at this verb we'll see that it has two syllables and it ends in AIL. So those two factors are going to be very important um, as we go along in this video. So because it begins with a consonant, cuddle begins with a C, which is a consonant, that means it's more than likely going to take a shevu in the past tense. A shevu is a hitch. Now I'm not saying all verbs that begin with a consonant take a shevu in the past tense. That's not what I'm saying, but most do. For example, the ones that begin with L, N and R do not take a shevu in the past tense. But we'll worry about that in another video in the future, I'm sure. The main thing to concentrate on here is cuddle takes a shevu in the past tense. So, cuddle me is I slept, and cuddle she is he slept. But sometimes the problem and difficulties arise in terms of how to express we slept. So, do we have an EMR ending? like a i fada o m a r or i fada o m a r or do we have a different ending like this one here for a customer we don't have the one like we have for customer because the verb cuss which is to twist or turn by the way that verb has one syllable one syllable so it just takes one moment of speech to say it like cuss once so because it's a one syllable um verb it can only have this type of ending here, like one that ends in A-M-A-R or one that ends in E-A-M-A-R. And because it's broad, like the second letter there of cos, C-A-S, because it's broad, we have to match broad with broad. So that's why it has a broad ending there, A-M-A-R. Now, cuddle has two syllables. So it takes two items of speech to say it. Cuddle, two syllables. And that means it can only have the E-M-R ending. And because um, because a i l because cuddle ends in a i l I mean, that means we have to follow that path when deciding what ending it has. So we choose the ending a i fada o m a r. Um, you must also remember here that we do not lose or discard the l. The l comes back, and we keep that l, and it becomes chudliamer, chudliamer. So you must keep the A and the I in that order. You can think of it like an alphabetical order if you want, or you can think like that the A is bigger and wider than the I, so it dominates or it leads the I. Well, whatever way you want to think of it. But that's the rule when expressing the we part um, in terms of this uh, verb cuddle. Chudliamer. Let's briefly look at another verb. This is kangle, and that's the Irish verb to tie as in to tie a knot. So, so kangle is very like cuddle in that it begins with C and it has two syllables. So as you'll see here, it follows the same rule. Um, it takes a shevu in the past tense and it has the emr ending similar to the verb cuddle. Changlemer. Changlemer. And it keeps the L. As I said before, we don't lose the L. The L just comes back. We, we keep the L and the A and the I follow in the same order as the original verb is spelt. So I hope you enjoyed this grammar lesson video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to do more videos like this in future. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Slongafol.